Good evening, friends, and welcome to this first installment of Patriots Video Blogs for YouTube. Uh, I am your host, Brutus, and um, tonight I would like to talk about the uh, federal government's latest installment of a so-called stimulus package. Um, <clears throat> if you uh, recall that the last two stimulus packages of 2008, the first one was uh, in the form of direct uh, rebates to taxpayers, uh, and that one cost the uh, taxpayers $56 billion. Uh, the one passed just several months ago um, was um, coined the uh, bailout, um, basically giving money to uh, uh, big banks and corporations. Uh, that one was to the tune of uh, around $850 billion, if uh, memory serves. And um, then contained more than a hundred billion dollars in pork spending. <clears throat> now to the latest bill, um, uh, President Obama's uh, first piece of major legislation. Uh, this one, of course, uh, reaching an approval in the Senate just recently uh, in news today, and uh, that one is to the tune of seven hundred and ninety billion dollars. Uh, of course. That number is slightly tuned down from the uh, the House version. Um, of course, uh, coming out of that, uh, the Senate took out the uh, tax credits for homeowners. I mean, why why did that trouble homeowners need any tax credits? Uh, we'll just add some more pork in there, right? Anyway, <coughs> uh, President Obama uh, working very uh, feverishly to uh, try and convince the American people that. Uh, his stimulus package is uh, the one that's going to work, uh, even though uh, back during the election, just several months ago, he was uh, sternly in support of uh, President Bush's stimulus package, and he, along with President Bush, were out there saying uh, together that, you know, um, if the stimulus package wasn't uh, rushed through the Congress, that... Uh, we were all going to be doomed, and the economy was going to collapse, and it was going to be the next Great Depression. Um, and, and here we are, just you know, several months later, at it again. Friends, there comes a time when we have to uh, we have to question these guys, don't we? Because they all they all are really saying the same thing. It's just uh, it's just the same thing, different day type scenario here. Um, and when the polls show that 56% of the American people are opposed to any more stimulus or bailouts, and um, our representatives in Washington continue to either try and convince us that we're wrong, or if they can't do that, which is usually the case, then they just totally ignore our wishes. And uh, it seems that we never hold them accountable. And uh, maybe it's time we start holding these people accountable and really take these matters seriously because... Uh, the debt's piling up, and by my calculations, the uh, our, with our current debt, national debt at $11 trillion, and the uh, not including the bailouts, the housing bills, and everything else, the, the rest of these monstrosities that have come about in the last eight or nine months, uh, we're, we're looking at something in the neighborhood of $13 trillion uh, by the end of 2009. And um, that's a serious debt to, uh, to bear when you're uh, in a recession. Well, this will conclude our first episode. Uh, I hope you will subscribe and uh, take up some more of what I have to say in the future. <clears throat>